A crew of serial robbers. The suspects, two men ages 19 and 21, plus a 14-year-old boy. Handgun and long gun used. Armed with rifles, ripping off six convenience stores and gas stations, all within 18 hours in the Seattle metro. They just had the same suspects hit a new shell station in White Center. Terrorizing customers and store clerks. <laughs> Their violent spree brought to an end in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. Police with their guns drawn during each suspect's arrest. Go back inside! Just how were officers able to track down these three bandits on the run? Well, police had help from an eye in the sky. The King County Sheriff's Office Air Support Unit watching the suspect's getaway car down below from Tequila to Seattle to help stop the robbers before they struck again. All right, he's stopping here at uh, 1121 Harvard Ave. We got two running to the north. But who knows if this pursuit would have been possible without the Air Support Unit's latest resource. This is the new Bell 407 GXI, known as Guardian One at the Sheriff's Office, the air support unit unveiling their new helicopter in October. Now with two helicopters of like capability, like performance, um, we could even have two helicopters operating at at one time. It's going to be a huge boost in our ability to serve the citizens. Pilot Anthony Mullinex says since the launch of the new Guardian 1, his unit has responded to countless calls for help, some of those calls resulting in 13 captures, including the three robbery suspects, one of the first big cases using the chopper. Getting the ability for us to really quickly get somewhere, find lost people. We found lost children. We found lost elderly people. We've stopped and rescued folks. Um, and we catch a lot of bad guys. But catching bad guys was proving to be more difficult prior to receiving the new bell. For decades, the sheriff's office relied on an older, slower helicopter from the Vietnam era for all of its calls. We retired the old lady, which was the 1970s uh, patrol helicopter that had 25,000 hours on it and it was ready to retire. We were finding a lot of things wrong with it, and also because of its age, like spare parts for some of the electrical uh, components were simply not available. And so we were living on a hope and prayer. Mullinex says repairs for the old Bell 206 were totaling more than the aircraft was actually worth, not to mention it limited the number of pilots on board due to weight restrictions, and it lacked equipment that would have enhanced the safety of the crew and the safety of the public. So while retiring the old lady, the air unit hit the campaign trail in 2023, asking Washington state legislators to support King County's proposal to fund a new helicopter. This was a big ask. This is a, a multi-million dollar piece of equipment um, that's going to serve for maybe up to a decade. Their big ask to legislators were backed up by several law enforcement agencies that call on the air support unit for help from local departments to Washington State Patrol, even the FBI. They all penned letters to the state to support funding for the new helicopter. And state lawmakers answered the call with a stamp of approval. Six million dollars later, the Bell 407 is now the second Guardian One helicopter on fleet at the Sheriff's Office, serving King County and beyond. It's got some pretty amazing capabilities that just make us safer. And so we're able to respond very quickly from the air to things that are in progress. Things in progress, like stopping these three suspects, putting their violent crime spree to an end. Guardian One, we're overhead. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.